Here we have some great actuality footage of a patrol from SEAL Team 1 in Vietnam from 1970, taken from the US National Archives. The film shows in great detail the weaponry of a SEAL team in country. Let's take a look as we move through the video. Firstly, here we see a Navy SEAL operator wearing what appears to be an Erdl jacket. The woodland style Erdl camo was adopted by the US Marines and was used by the SEALs famously in Vietnam from 1968. And the version you see here is based on a third pattern jungle fatigue jacket. The man on the right appears to be wearing an M1969 flak jacket. Here we see a great clip of the SEAL operator cleaning his boots in the river. Uh, he is wearing a life vest and the ubiquitous jungle boonie hat. This SEAL operator is armed with what appears to be an XM177 carbine or CAR-15. More interesting is the fact that this XM appears to be underslung with an XM148 grenade launcher, which was an experimental 40mm grenade launcher. This grenade launcher was made by Colt and it was developed in 1966 and they started to appear in country in 1967. You see these in use by Australian Special Forces and of course by the Navy SEALs you see here. Here we see a radio operator. He's using what appears to be a PRC-77 radio. Note the smoke bombs attached to the back of the radio. They can be used for signaling. And he's also armed with a CAR-15. This man appears to be the SEAL team's South Vietnamese interpreter. He's wearing what appears to be a French jacket from the Indochina War. As you can see, he has a Claymore bag and is armed with an M60 machine gun. And here we have a great view of possibly the most famous weapon used by the Navy SEALs in Vietnam, the Stoner 63. The weapon was designed by Eugene Stoner as a replacement for the AR-15. It wasn't adopted by the Army, but they were used heavily by the Navy SEALs in Vietnam. In this clip, the SEALs appear to be making uh, some sort of rudimentary explosives, possibly for booby traps. He's filling the water bottle there with plastic explosive. then with nails and that will definitely leave a mark when that goes off. After packing these explosives, the Vietnamese for morning, Sa Moi, is shown to be written on the water bottle. Definitely a dark joke for whoever's on the receiving end of that bomb. Here we see footage of the SEAL team patrolling. As you can see, they're traveling very lightly Unlike the LERP teams who were expected to stay in country under their own steam, the Navy SEALs would get in and get out. The tubes attached to the webbing of this SEAL are what appear to be signal pop flares. Now, obviously flares are used for signaling. <laughs> Note the chap coming to his friend's aid there is armed with what looks like a M203 underslung M16A1. In these clips you can get a good look at the kind of belt rigs that the Navy SEALs wore. As you can see it's ammunition and grenades that are the order of the day. And of course you can't have a video on Navy SEALs without mentioning how good they look in their jeans. I love how this chap just casually cut some bananas up with his bayonet there. And here we have the SEAL team being extracted after their patrol. And before the end of the video, we get some great looks at some M60s and some stoners. As this video comes to an end, I hope you enjoyed this more looser type format of video, just looking at some stock footage. 
I know it's a bit different from what you used to on the channel, but I'm just seeing what works and what doesn't. If you liked it, let me know in the comments below. But don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I'll catch you again in the next one.